when the normal development is starting, and we're talking right now about normal development, okay, then first thing which kids are doing, come on mothers, what are the kids doing first? Anyone? Well, that's besides the point. <laughs> Movement. Well, screaming, yes, because it's a, it's a pressure to open up the lungs. Breathe. Breathe, yes. No, the first moves, that's what I meant. I rephrased my question. What the first moves the kid da does? He's like, Holding head on. Exactly. He's starting to turn head and look, right? Why? <coughs> we talked about anatomy a bit before, right? So just think about it. Because the muscles and nerves which are responsible for his vision are in here on the neck. So if the neck is turned, then I can see my, my eye starting to work out. You've got kids with it, with all this, right? So a lot of them have problems with the vision. Right? The reason is because they never turn their heads. Right? They were in this position or that position or this position and finished. Right? So there is no development of these muscles taking place. Okay? There's more to come. If my neck if not is not moving, okay, and not passively, okay, don't get me wrong with it, don't mix up with the chiropractors, okay? <laughs> it's like the neck has to be adjusted. Then what's happening is my esophagus is starting up from here. Remember what we talked about? If you drop your head or you're bringing your head up like this, can you swallow? You hear my voice right now, my head is just dropped back. I even cannot talk. You see what I'm saying? So what's happening is the nerves which are exiting from the neck, they actually reach the supply digestive tract and reach the supply the diaphragm. As I was taught in the physio school and physiotherapy school, C C three, four, five keeping you alive. <laughs> okay, nerves exiting neck, neck vertebrae three, four and five. Okay? So that's why when we see kids and who barely move at all, then what's happening, their, their breathing is dis disturbed. The stomach is kind of pulled in and the chest is kind of here. So that's from where it's coming from. And this is just not from turning the head. The next move with kid is done. Come on, ladies, you know this. Man, never. <laughs> So what the kid does next in a regular development? Raw, no, come on, roll. <laughs> roll from side to side, right? The reason why, because I see, I grab, right? But there is much more to come. When I'm turning at the same rotation, I'm stimulating everything. I'm stimulating my breathing. I'm stimulating my digestive tract because my food will be propelled. And if I roll from my back onto my belly, that's what kids are doing, right? Then I am stimulating the whole digestive system. You follow me? So that's why, and, that's, and then sitting up is coming. Okay, we will not touch this because that's not for us right now. We're talking about digestion today, okay? So that's why these steps are crucial in the milestones. They're crucial because if child does not move, then there is no development of nervous system. Because receptors or antennas giving information to brain, don't send me blood here, which is food. I don't need it. It sends information to brain, don't send me fluids here, because I'm not moving, so I don't need my nutrition. So it's everything is slowing down. So we then assume, well, we're worried why a kid does not want to eat. Well, think about this. If you lie all the day, just put yourself in his shoes. You're lying down in the bed all day, doing nothing. Okay, just think about this. Doing really nothing. No radio, no book, no uh, TV, like nothing. Okay? Would you want to eat? So why kids are different? Think about this. Okay, so that's the reason why. And you can calculate as much calories as you want, he will not be able to eat it because he does want to. 
health is in motion, that's how we call it. But that's an old saying. And that applies not for us moving, that applies to movement which is inside us and outside. Because outside is reflecting what is inside. Okay? So if we don't move, then we don't want to eat. Because that's how brain is commanding. It's giving information to brain, I'm not moving, I don't need it, that's it, leave me alone. I will eat maybe once in a while. Okay? So that's the information which is given. How many of you have kids who have constipations? All of you, right? Why? Because when I'm not moving, the food is stuck. It's not propelled because pressure is not changing. Think about this. Little experiment. Turn to your right as you sit right now and try to breathe. No, no, completely. Half body. Just half body, legs down, you're just turning. And now try to breathe. What do you feel? Where? Exactly. Because your diaphragm in one place is open a bit, in the other one is starting to push. Everybody knows what diaphragm, right? It's a big couple, big muscle in here, right? So what it does? We talked about that body works as a pneumatic machine, right? So what's happening is once I'm breathing, my intra-abdominal means abdomen means stomach. Pressure is changing in order for lungs to expand and to take breath as well. Once these guys expanding, then intracranial pressure is changing as well. Remember? From big pressure to small pressure. So when I'm moving, I'm forcing my pumping machine to start up working. Once the pressure changing, so my blood is pumped in, my nutrients getting out to the blood, exchange of nutrients, right? And then what's happening is my food is propelled forward or downward or whatever it is. Okay? You follow me? So that's basically how it's all worked.